This little metal cutting band saw is the first tool I've actually gotten set up and used in my new shop. And in the past I've had some questions about it, so I thought I'd do a quick tour of the saw and the stand that I bought for it. These saws are designed to cut lengths of pipe and steel, so they have two sets of bearings that twist the blade 45 degrees. This prevents the body of the saw from interfering with cuts in the middle of long pieces and makes this a very useful tool for the workshop. I did kind of mess this up by putting the sharpener a little too close, but I could raise the saw if I was really all that concerned about it. I bought the table for the saw from Swag Offroad. You can find a link to their website in the description. But this is not a paid endorsement. Uh, and welding tips and tricks, as well as Ask Woodman, both have build videos about making stands that are similar. So check those out if you like the concept but want to build your own. I do like the fact that this table makes it easy to turn the saw back into a portable tool. You just remove one thumb screw and take off whatever you use to keep the trigger down, which is a little bungee cord in my case, and you have a handsaw again. I do wish the stand came with an integrated switch solution. I bought this switch separate and mounted it behind the saw in my old shop, but I need to figure out something else in the new space. It cuts quite well. This is actual speed cutting through 3 8 inch steel. Not super fast, but that's a lot of metal. It doesn't do too badly on curves either. Here are some pieces that I just finished up. Well, I hope you found the tour of the saw interesting, but you may be wondering what these things are and what exactly it is that I'm building. 